If you're taking AP Chemistry, here's how I would rank all of the units by difficulty so you know what fun you're getting yourself into. Starting off, we have Atomic Structures and Properties. This unit's the easiest because it's mostly a review from Lower Chemistry, but keep in mind that it's still super important because it lays the foundation for the rest of the year. Number two is Chemical Reactions. This can be a lot of memorization, but once you get it down, you'll be good to go. Next up, we have Molecular and Ionic Compound Structure and Properties. This one's a little bit of a review, but the new information is pretty easy with some practice. Coming in fourth, we have Kinetics. The hardest part about Kinetics is memorizing the equations, but this was my personal favorite because the labs were really fun. Number five is Thermodynamics. Thermo isn't too bad in theory, and it's really interesting, but make sure you know all of your equations and when to add your negative sign. Next up is Intermolecular Forces and Properties. This one is sneakily hard because there are so many different scenarios. In seventh, we have applications of thermodynamics. The batteries are really cool in this unit, but there are so many equations for different conditions, so it's easy to mix them up. The second hardest is equilibrium. The content isn't super bad, but there are so many Ks. You'll understand what I mean when you get there. Make sure you know the differences between all of them. Last but not least, we have the hardest unit, acids and bases. This one starts out easy, but escalates super quickly. It incorporates literally everything you'll have learned up until that point, but at least the pH indicators turn fun colors. If you've already taken AP Chemistry, let us know in the comments which unit you think is the hardest.